defined stunting this morning as a condition where children aren't growing as well as they should. And technically, they're too short for their age. But the problem goes much beyond that because it's not just failing to grow physically, it also affects their cognitive development and their function throughout life, that they're less economically productive as adults, that they're more prone to other infections as adults. The International Workshop on Stunting and Gut Dysfunction is a significant milestone in nutrition history in the state of Odisha and also in India. I'm very glad that the topic particular workshop has been stunting and gut dysfunction because these areas where the maternal and child health need to be addressed are very well being addressed by the AIPH. People like me who work on uh, translational research to policy makers and pediatricians. Uh, so a variety of stakeholders came and discussed about stunting from various different viewpoints. Um, so it was uh, educational for uh, each of these different people because they were working in different aspects of stunting. I think the highlights of the discussions on Giardia today were like several diseases. You can be infected with these parasites and not exhibit any diarrhea or other symptoms in, of infection, but still develop the syndrome we call stunting. That it's just repeated infections that lead to what we call gut dysfunction. The body doesn't assimilate nutrients properly, so that even when you are properly nourished, you're not going to get the nutrition you need to grow. Gut microbiota has a symbiotic relationship with us and it controls the energy metabolism. Therefore, the gut microbiota plays a very important role in growth. So this is the reason why AIPH University has organized this international symposium. It was a really delightful conference uh, workshop that we had. We had already assembled uh, experts from different uh, uh, backgrounds and expertise. Uh, but the participation from the audience was the key uh, that we, we expected and that happened. Uh, they all convened in one place. I am pretty sure everybody will benefit out of it and we will be doing convening more of these uh, workshops uh, in the future. Three important indicators which come out very sharply which determine the prevalence of stunting. Improve mother's education. Female literacy has to go up. Okay. Improve the level of income among the people. So, more social protection measure, more employment and livelihood opportunity for people and more focus on tribal development. I mainly focused on looking at uh, the effect of helmet infection on stunting as well as malnutrition in children. Our work has shown that helmets are one of the major causes of stunting and malnutrition and that getting rid of helmets and would, would be beneficial to the society at large. Malnutrition the thing, when there is something away of deviation from the normal nutrition. So either it's a decrease, it's undernutrition, it increases overnutrition. So you, you both are equally bad. The undernutrition, as I told you, acutely it may be the case of acute, severe acute malnutrition. And if after treatment, if you are not taking care of the children, this may lead to subacute or a chronic malnutrition that may lead to stunting after the deprivation of the nutrition for a pretty long period, two years or so, the child may be stunting. It has implications on growth, productivity, demographic dividend and cognitive potential. It is necessary that we need Odisha a stunting free state and stunting free India. So it was uh, educational for uh, each of these different people because they were working in different aspects of stunting. So it was interesting and very, very beneficial and educational. This workshop will help the students to know about the scientific deliberation, its importance and how it is conducted and what are the benefits of it. They will have a great insight and to witness world-renowned faculties and scientists. So they'll be definitely benefiting their career growth in terms of the research priorities and further publications.